guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to weigh-in number 18. So, I just got out of my meeting. I did not have time, as per usual, <laughs> to film before the meeting. I have every intention of getting out the door early enough to be able to film before the meeting, but it just has not happened quite yet. But as I work on getting up earlier, which I've started the process of doing that, then hopefully I will be out the door a little sooner, which means I can give my little recap of the week before I go into the weigh-in, because I really like that format, just kind of reflecting on the week, weighing in, and then coming out and, you know, sharing the results and everything and goals for the upcoming week. So this past week <clears throat> went really, really well. So let me pull up my app here so I can share with you guys. So this was this past week. I am no longer doing a no track day. So as you can see, I've already tracked breakfast and dinner today. Today we're going to do our family um, date night out. And so we're going to Texas Roadhouse with the girls tonight for dinner, um, which I'm really excited about. There are plenty of really good options there. And then I'm going to get my Dunkin' this morning. And yeah, so I have that planned into my week already, which is great. And then I have nine weekly points remaining. So I'll probably try to have like a zero point lunch or something um, before dinner tonight. So but yeah, so the past week went really well. I think one thing I just kept telling myself this past week was like, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. Because for four weeks now, I have been kind of like off track, not like in the sense that I haven't been tracking things, but just like, I don't know, my my mentality was a little down. I was not feeling as, as motivated and... Um, I don't know, just ever since Easter, I got off track. So I sort of learned from that experience and that's why I decided to not do a no track day anymore and to be more diligent with tracking all my points and things like that. So the only um, days that I like won't track probably will be like Mother's Day or, um, you know, Thanksgiving dinner, my birthday, things like that. And then the rest of the time I will be tracking. So yeah um let me show you guys today's weigh-in because i am very very excited to finally share <laughs> a loss with you guys so i lost 1.4 this past week so i'm back up to 15.8 pounds lost my goal is to get back to that 20 pound mark you know, by the end of this month, that is my goal. So, oh, thank goodness. This past week, I was a lot more diligent. Um, I feel like I got back on track, tracked everything. And then this upcoming week, you know what really helped? And I wish, mm, I wish I had brought it with me. But on my Instagram, I showed a picture of the 52 week meal planner by WW. And I planned out all my meals in advance for the week, what I would have for breakfast, lunch, dinner. There was some flexibility there because a lot of my breakfast meals and lunch meals were very similar point-wise. And so I knew like if I didn't feel like having oatmeal and I wanted eggs instead, I could do that, no problem. So I planned everything out ahead of time and that helped me so much with staying on track because I could look at my little meal planner in the morning, I didn't have to think at all about what I was going to eat that day. It was it was planned out for me in advance and I tracked my meals the night before in the app. So all the points were tracked and everything. All of that was good to go. And that made a huge difference, you guys. Like planning everything ahead of time, having a game plan going into the week, knowing, you know, what the weekend was going to look like as far as like a treat meal or whatever it may be or if, where I was going to use my weeklies because I do use my weeklies just FYI and then if I start getting um fit points if I'm being more active getting more walks in more activity in I will likely use those as well to you know eat a little bit more especially once I go to the gym I know I'm going to need some extra protein like I'll probably focus mostly on zero point things like getting good sources of protein in and stuff like that once I'm in the gym 
But if I have a day where I'm super, super hungry, um, especially as my body's like adjusting to all of that, I wanted to have that flexibility. So I know that's not like a super like popular way to do it. I don't think many people use their fit points, but I asked the leader in the meeting and she just said what I always preach, which is you have to work the plan the way it works for you. And so sure, maybe I'll lose the weight slower by using the fit points, but that to me is more sustainable. And I feel like it's just listening to my body more, but you have to do what works for you and what feels right for you. And if I start doing that and I find that it's not working, for some reason, then, you know, I'll make adjustments as I go. And that's one thing I've learned in this whole process because my brain, <laughs> the way my brain thinks is I have to have this like perfect plan before I go into something. And I have to know this is what I'm doing ABC and like I can't make any adjustments if I make any adjustments, I have to start all over. That's the way that my brain has worked in the past. And now I'm just really, truly embracing this as a lifelong journey where I'm going to have to make adjustments along the way. And that's completely fine. Sometimes you'll try new things. They won't work. It's very similar to budgeting, actually. So, yeah. So I lost 1.4 finally. I'm so excited. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, and I know the scale's not everything. I think there's someone, is it Michael, that comments on my videos and he's um, always preaching about not being too attached to the scale, which I agree with. I do agree with you. But the way that the WW, you know, plan works is you weigh in once a week. Now, if I were like, obsessively weighing every single day, which I do weigh myself like a couple times throughout the week. I've been trying to get away from that a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> then I think like, you know, if you have an unhealthy relationship with the scale and I do pay very close attention to how I feel in addition to, you know, the results I'm seeing on the scale. Now, one thing where I have kind of dropped the ball is I have not to this day taken measurements. So my goal for tonight is to take my measurements, get those done. I want to make sure I track that and I want to take my measurements on the first day of every month. That's my goal. So once a month, I'll take my measurements um, because I think that would be really interesting to know as well. But yeah, I do pay attention a lot to how I feel and things like that. And so I'm feeling great. Like I feel like my bloating has gone down and I'm just feeling more energetic. You know, I had a really great week on the plan and um, I made sure to incorporate like more um, vegetables, fruits, fruits easy for me. <laughs> I love fruit, but I did try to make sure I was you know, eating more vegetables and all that kind of stuff as well. So, um, and sorry if it's super bright. Like, I think it's just the time of day and stuff. I feel like, I feel like it's just so <laughs> bright, but, um, but yeah. And then I also have come up with a reward system for myself. So I have been really big into reading, which I've been talking about. I feel like nonstop lately, just because I absolutely love it. So I created an Amazon wish list of all the books that I want to read eventually. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot on there. And um, for every five pounds that I lose, I will purchase myself a book that I can add to my shelf. So that I think will be very motivating. And that means I would be getting... 23 books, I believe. 23 books with as much weight as I need to lose. Am I doing that math correctly? Or no, now it's, now I have like an even 100. Because so I'd like to get down to like, between 135 and 140 is my goal. So yeah, so it's 20 to 21 books, somewhere around there. So yeah, my goal will be to get back down to the 20 pound mark by the end of this month. And if I do that, I will get myself a book. And I will share with you guys which book I pick up for myself. I think that'll be really fun. If you want to see the books I'm planning to pick up, I do have my Amazon wish list down below. It's just so that you guys can see. Don't feel like I'm not pitching that as like, 
go and buy me books <laughs> because trust me I have plenty of and plenty of books I'm not asking anyone to buy anything for me at all the reason why I provide it in my description box is so that you guys can see the books that I'm planning to get myself and then if there's a book on there that you are interested in then you know you can check it out look at the reviews and all that good stuff but I thought that would be fun just to kind of share that with you guys um, so you can see like the books that I'm planning to pick from I just think that's really fun so but yeah so that's pretty much it you guys that is it for this weigh-in it went really really well um, the meeting was about uh, habit building. I don't know if I mentioned that already or not, but they're really focusing on habits, which I think is great because whenever you're pursuing a big goal, um, you know, having strong, healthy habits will help carry you through to accomplish that goal. goal. So, uh, we talked actually about going to bed earlier and getting up earlier tonight. And that was really, really helpful. Um, I can't remember who, who, who told me, but someone had mentioned like going to bed earlier in like increments, like, you know, for one week, get up 15 minutes earlier. The next week, get up a half hour earlier. The next week, get up 45 minutes earlier. And my goal, so right now I usually get up between 6.30 and 7 because that's when my kids get up. Um, and my goal is to get up by 5.30 because that would give me enough time to go for a walk before my kids get up. So, so yeah, um, that's about an, an hour. So it may take me a month to get to that point, but if I do it in small baby steps, which is what we talked about today, they said, you know, a journey of a thousand or a million miles, something like that starts with one step. And so we talked about breaking habits down into smaller pieces. And I think that's where I've been dropping the ball a little bit is like, I try to just go all in all at once. And then I get really burnt out on it. So I know a couple of my goals are to get up earlier. So I think I'm going to map out like a little plan for myself because apparently that works really well with my like meal plan <laughs> as well. But I'm going to make it a goal this upcoming week to wake up 15 minutes earlier, go to bed 15 minutes earlier and get up 15 minutes earlier. So for me, that would probably mean like, let's get up at 6.30 consistently every day this upcoming week, which means I need to go to bed by 10.30 every day this week. And then we'll just work back from there. And then once I am, you know, ready to go back to the gym, which Andrew and I have been talking about, and I don't know that I'm going to actually go to the gym. It just depends. So Andrew's got a interview with Costco by the time you guys are seeing this in two days, so please pray, <laughs> please pray for him. Um, I am sure he will get it. He's in great standing with the company and everything, but he is going back to Costco and a lot will depend on what his schedule is going to look like because he's either going to work early morning or evening. And so I think for now I'm going to focus on just getting workouts done at home. So maybe my goal would be to, you know, walk a couple days a week, but then also to do an at home workout, like maybe twice a week and then work my way up to three times a week and then four times a week and kind of go up from there. So I don't know if I should do both at the same time. I don't know if I should, you know, focus on waking up. Well, if I'm waking up earlier, I need to fill that time. So maybe I do, maybe I go for like a 10 minute walk. If I get up 15 minutes earlier, that would give me time to go for, you know, a 10 minute walk. So yeah, that's what we talked about in today's meeting. That's how the weigh-in went, the week went. Let's keep this momentum going. <laughs> I am determined to get back down to that 20 pound mark. Very determined. And I will start taking measurements. Um, I'm going to take my measurements tonight and I will share that with you guys. Like the results of that probably like my first weigh-in of each month, wherever the dates land, I will, I'll share that with you. So whenever it's like the first of the month, um, whatever the weigh-in weigh -in is after that, I will share those stats with you guys. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to catch all my future videos. If you are interested in joining me on this journey and wanna sign up for WW, 
I do have a link in the description box that will get you one free month on WW, which is a great deal. So definitely check out that link. Find me on WW on the app. Um, let me see here. Let me pull it up for you guys. Oh, it's right there. So my username on WW is Stephanie Ann 1007, right? Yeah. <laughs> So that is me, so find me in the Connect community and we can do this together. I need to be better actually about posting in the Connect community. So that's gonna be a little goal of mine too is to, to post in there more often. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.